Hello, hello everyone. I'm Ariona Simoto, and welcome back to more Firewatch. So we're gonna jump right back in. Holy, is this thing getting very, very disturbing. Got conked in the head last episode. Let's see what happens in this one. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the Oh, 50th time today. Uh. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, hey, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, I went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Hmm? I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am mm. actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. Hmm. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Interesting. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Mm hmm. Let me look at it and I'll tell you. No, you don't need to tell me, just, um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree, and there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment you get there. Hmm. Sounds good. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. Alrighty. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Perfect. Alright. That's really sussy. What is this? Is that his jacket? Did he hang the jacket on the light bulb? Oh, he took his wedding ring off. Oh, that is so sad. Oh, he's he's letting her go. Oh. I'm going to keep it with me cuz I I feel better without that. I saw the radio button light up. But why? What what did I Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid. Two orcs? Uh, it looks like it was made by Brian Goodwin. Wonder if his dad hated this type of stuff and he felt like he had to hide it. So you have a soft spot for nerds? I really do. Oh, That's so sad. Poor Brian. Well, let's just throw it on our bed for now. Hey, Shelly! Shelly, Shelly! Hi, baby girl! You're so cute! Look at you! You're so adorable! Boop! <laughs> Alright, let's put you back. Here you go, Shelly. You're so cute. I like how it, like he does a little boop to the nose. That's adorable. Peanut butter. <laughs> Biff. That's funny. Jam, pasta. Got lots of food here. That's good. It's good that he's eating so well. 
dishes, just soap, anything else? It's just our, the fireworks from before. All right. Um, pine cones are so weird. Just pine cones everywhere. You know, I wonder if we should like, uh, well, we can't just pick it up, but whatever. Open the door, grab our pack, and go. Let's go! Alright. I want to just make sure that this is still good over here. Don't want anybody messing or tampering with our gas lines. I wonder if she's either going to be there or if she set up something that will allow them to talk undeterred. It's interesting. But let's look at the map. Go to Cottonwood Creek. Oh, interesting. So it's right around Pork Pond. Good to know. Oh, and there's another cache over there. Sweet. What was that? I thought I saw the radio pop up. Wow, is the smoke coming closer? I think the smoke might be coming closer. Alright, so I am here, so I want to go south. Wait, which way south? This way. Alright, let's go. Oh, that's smoke. Wait, let me see the map again. So we're down here. way for me to get a cross over this way? Sorry, my throat did something funny. Nope, doesn't look like it. Looks like we have to hop across. Because I thought maybe if I went across, I could just um, get that cash first. <laughs> and jump. Is there anything new in the cache? Just the books. Exactly how I left them. Good, good to know, good to know. Alright, let's take a look. So we want to go down and then over. I'm going to go down this path and to a right. Nick right. Okay, so we're here. Now, what am I supposed to be looking for? A random ski, okay. Marked a big tree on the map, okay. Look around. Is she just over here somewhere? Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and oh, open it. Is. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. Okay. Copy map. Alrighty. Three blind rats. Same writer. Hmm. Super sassy still. Woo! Uh, I found what you left me. Good. Call me back with when you have it. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a I'm ranger, lied to evidence. another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Yeah. Holy hope so. Henry, we have to get into that site. Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? This is so sexy. I don't know. Any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Oh. The oh. state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So wow. This what a jerk. To anyone else and I'm done asking. None of it makes any sense. Who is doing this? I don't know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River, and nothing like this has ever happened before. That you know of. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Yeah, I'm glad I picked up that radio for evidence, because that's super sussy. Like, I don't like any of this. Oh, there's a way over across over there? Well, then let's go that way. Much faster than hopping across those rocks. It's just up from the cache, so. Let's head back over there. I, I'm still, I'm still kind of sussy of Delilah. Like. Especially with that phone call in the middle of the night, I, they sounded really similar. Like him, his, like his wife and Delilah, they, their voices sounded similar. So it's all, like, I almost wonder if she was just putting on an act for it all. But either way, we will find out what exactly is going on. It's just super sussy. just thought of something not, um, not great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks oh, back. Oh, why? What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. Oh. I, I, I just didn't want to be hassled. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. Oh, God. And I've filed a report. That's a blatant lie. Yeah. Uh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Woo! Woo! Indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Oh, that is not good. Not good. 
Why? Why would you do that? Just be honest. <sighs> Ridiculous. Anyway, um, let's head up that way. Where was that bush I needed to chop down? I can't even remember. I want to say it was somewhere around over here. Up there, maybe? Up near the cache? Near cache 241, I think. Maybe. Well, let's go see. Am I heading the right way? Yes. And then I'll make a. Do I want to make a left or a right? I kind of want to go up this way and see if that's where I need to clear that spot. Maybe. Ugh, I don't know. That's where he found the backpack. Or no, that's where... Never mind. The locked door is there. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go back to our place, and I'm going to check the locked door first in the cave. Before we go and axe the lock, and I'm going to go see if there's that um, place we can clear up top. What is that? Oh, that's just a fallen tree. I thought it was like clothing or something. Alright, so we're going to go up and around, and then... We're going to go, you know... We're going to make a, we're going to continue along the path towards Cache 306, then make a left up to the Thunder Canyon, then make a right towards where the cave is, go into the cave, try and open it, if we can. <gasps> Holy crap, that scared me. Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. <sighs> How about you don't do that again? Frick, that scared me. What? Why is this open? I didn't leave it open. That's really sussy. But I agree with him. I jumped too. That freaked me out. Oops. I ran into a rock. Wait, where am I? No, that's not where I want to go. Ugh, the smoke. I don't know if it's the smoke that make, that's making me get all turned around, but something, like, I'm having difficulties navigating here. There we go. That's where I want to clear. the spot. Perfect. Now I can go down this path. Woohoo! That's nice. Down we go. Now let's look. Yeah, 
That's better. All right. What? Why aren't you jumping? There we go. Repel down. <clears throat> Alright. This is probably a terrible idea. And if so, well, then I guess we just made a bad decision. But we're going to go into that cave and see if we can bust that in. Because I still don't trust it. Just give me a second. Okay. I just need to shut the blinds so that I can see inside the cave. Is it just the sunset that made that's making it look like the way? Maybe it is. Wait, it won't let me bust it with the axe? Really? Hmm. Anyway, well, I can't bust it with the axe, so. Let's leave and head towards that other place. Looks like we're going to run down the water creek again. Get our boots wet. But yeah, that moose frickin' scared the crap out of me. Elk or whatever, yeah. It was an elk sound, but like, that freaked me out. So loud. So loud. You know, I still think that Delilah's might be in on it simply because, now hear me out, we heard that guy cough and in, over the radio. So that could be that the radio itself was jank. Like there was something going wrong with it, with the connection. So Delilah hiked across the map to replace that radio with this new one where that won't happen. And it's easier for them to record all the data. But I could just be making stuff up and maybe she's not in on it, but I still kind of suspect that she is. All right, let's go up this way. And towards the gate. Bust in. Now it's... Yes. Repel down. And why are we doing this near sunset? Like, that's not... That's not smart. What the heck? What's with the rocks being stacked on each other like that? That's sussy. like a warning saying don't go this way Oof, so sussy oh the music just gonna pause it for a second um because I'm getting a little nervous I need to stretch it out or whatever I'm going to save it because I am a little freaked a little bit and we're gonna continue on let's see what happens I'm busting the gate down there's nobody around and it's the quickest way in copy that <clears throat> this 
smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay then. All right. Stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, <laughs> kind of. Uh, okay, I'm I'm sorry. Wapiti Station personnel, if you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University-owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government-owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand? Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Mmm. going to hold that. And I'm going to walk everywhere, keeping my eye out for every possible thing. No, I'm not going to go this way yet. I'm going to go back and make sure that I didn't miss anything up top because I didn't go this way. So that goes nowhere. Where does this go? Oh, I can't go anywhere else. Okay then. Jump across. It's a university, so maybe it has something to do with his wife. Like, maybe his wife is in on it, and like when she left, it was part of the plan. Like, her possible dementia is part of the plan. Other doctors are in on it, and this is like seeing if um, a patient's husband will be faithful to their wife with dementia. I don't know. It's just really suspicious. Like, I'm really unnerved right now. I know I don't sound unnerved, but I've been told it's because I have such a calm voice like I, and I don't really panic a whole lot, but when I do freak out a little bit, like you've heard me gasp and like cringe and make noises when I freaked out, but like overall I tend to handle myself well under stress in calm, like I'm in a stressful situation. Like when I was a nurse, everybody was like, it's always nice to be around you because you're so calm even in a crisis, and I was like, oh good. I'm glad people think I'm calm. In inside, I'm like, ah! Okay. It's a generator. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. B, there is some serious comms equipment out here, wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Okay. So there's another tower over there. But what's over here? Nothing. Keep an eye out. What the hell? all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Uh, they're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. 
This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Okay, there's a cash there. Before I go into that little thing, I'm just going to do a walk around here. Like, is this where I came upon? And I couldn't... How did I not see that tent? Okay, well, I can't get through there. Let's go inside then. Before I do anything, I am just going to take a picture evidence. Go up here and take a picture of this. Okay. And then I'm going to go take a f picture of that fence. Here, I'm going to take a picture of the fence just to show that I broke it. I always forget that I have a camera. <laughs> And into the thingy. Okay, now we'll go back. We'll go and report in. We'll take pictures of things that we need to. I'm glad I didn't take a bunch of random pictures and use up all my camera footage. Hopefully we need all this for evidence or whatever. Before I report anything, I am going to take pictures of things. Well, there's nobody here. It's just tents and equipment, and yeah, that's it. Something that will help us know what's going on. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. Huh, like us. Yeah, like us. Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Okay, shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my, our, people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas mm -hmm. marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so.
Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy sh Okay. Subject beacon frequency sex social role. Uh, frequent departure from two forts area. Avoidance behaviors. Consult previous data. Unreciprocated desires for copulation. Conflict with other males. Disproportionate food intake. Are they actually monitoring her? Shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Maybe the Goodwins? What if they were following them last summer? God, Henry, I don't know. If they were, there's no way Brian knew. He would have said something. No, I can't imagine a kid like that could have kept this under his hat. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. Take evidence of everything. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit. You know, you swear, like, a lot. <laughs> yeah. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy. Holy shit, Henry. Yeah, holy shit. They keep this wave receiver thing in a crate. It looks like their prized piece of equipment. Well, it's ours now. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. Wh what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Just hoof it. Oh, so suspicious. reports here. What do they say? Subject Delilah A, age 43, program status one week, four weeks, six weeks annual. Observation traits, reliable, considering alcoholism, observant, charismatic, selfish, skewed perception of personal history, pertinent observed facts, never married, no kids, rarely hikes or leaves immediate surroundings, multiple lovers despite longtime partner named Javier. Susceptibility to manipulation, one, two, three out of ten. Supervisor sign off, e.g. Interesting. Their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Henry M., age 39, program status review, one week, four weeks, six annual. Observation traits, comprehensive explorer, keeps to the path, prone to anger, slash passive, guilty, forthright, guarded. Subject overview. Subject has fully engaged supervisor. Trust yet to be scientifically proven. All signs point towards full cooperation. Update. Subject may be aware of tests. Suggest we disengage if subject decides to leave his post. Susceptibility to manipulation. Nine? Like what? Kidding? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... 
What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah, but, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Think about it. Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. M the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. definitely not the best idea. Uh, yep. so wound up. It's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Yeah. So suspicious. Ugh. I don't like the music. It's very unnerving. Like, I'm really tense right now. I'm gonna need to, like, soak in the tub or something later, because my back is just so tense. Oh, this music, though. All right. I'm still pretty suspicious of her. Like, it's like they, especially with their open to manipulation thing, him being a nine, and her being a three. Like, is it saying, like, she's easily manipulated or he's easily manipulated? Like, I don't think it would be him. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! Holy butts! Hey, shh. The bridge collapsed climbing out of here, and, um, now it looks like there's smoke coming from the site. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Call Just it in. Call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Whoa. That is so sussy. They burnt it down? Like, but the bridge broke. Did they intentionally break it so he couldn't come back to put out the fire? Or was it set up to go up in flames? Oh. Okay. Well. That was a really intense episode. Uh... I'm debating whether to continue or not, or maybe, maybe we should wrap it up there and possibly we'll continue in the next episode. Hopefully it's not anything too serious and I hope nothing actually is going wrong. Like I hope everything turns out okay, but holy crap. Like, so much information going on. Ugh. Like. Or maybe they were monitoring the girls? Or maybe, like, what does this say? So that's the clipboard. Observation on Henry. Observation on Delilah. Staff memo. Note from Ron, letter to the firefighters. On four subjects though. Hmm. You know, that might, that's not right though. Like, I don't think, 
like the two ones at the top have to be something else have to be somebody else they can't be the the good wins because their names their name letters don't match like I don't know, maybe. Well, it says masculine, feminine, feminine, masculine, masculine. Maybe, maybe it's different people altogether. Frequent departure from two forts, avoidant behaviors, Consult previous data. I think that probably is Delilah. I want to read it. Let's see here. Yeah, that's probably Delilah. Uh, unreciprocated desire for copulation, conflict with other males, disproportionate food intake. Huh. Maybe these are the other two lookouts, but they weren't as interesting to follow. Maybe, or maybe it is the good wins. But it, like, I think maybe the, like, cause there's 402 to 914, you know, like those types of things. I think maybe that's the location where they are and the, the frequency to be heard is the like that 43.84 megahertz. I think maybe that's the frequency or maybe it's the other way around. I don't know, but it's like, cause that's male, female, male, male. Ugh, so confused, but very suspicious. And we did get a lot of evidence so that's good. And I took a lot of pictures of everything, so they can't say it didn't exist because I took all those pictures. Now it's just basically waiting and seeing what we find afterwards. I hope I didn't waste as, like waste all my photos though, because like I think we've got three left or something. So we can take three more good photos of something. But holy crap. Well, we're gonna wrap up that episode there. And the next episode will probably be the final episode. And hopefully it's okay. But uh, my goodness, it's so crazy. But that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and always remember, friends don't let friends choke on a chicken wing.